Hi, I am Rahul. Welcome to Mathematics Channel. In this video, we study the linear dependency and independency of a vector. First of all, we go through the definition, then we see two example. Now, we see the definition. The vectors x1, x2, x3 and so on xn are the vectors and we need to check whether they are dependent or not. So, these vectors are said to be linearly independent if if we write this in the linear combination of k1 x1 plus k2 x2 plus k3 x3 and so on kn xn is equal to 0 vector and if we get all ki's values that is k1 is equal to 0 k2 is equal to 0 k3 is equal to 0 k n is equal to 0, then we say that these vectors are linearly independent. So, when we say that it is linearly dependent, if we get at least one k i value is not equal to 0, then we say that the vector is linearly dependent. So, remember this at least one k i value is not equal to 0 means if you get one non-zero value for k i, the vectors are linearly dependent. So, hope you understand the definition of linearly dependent and independent. So, let us start with an example. Examine for linearly dependency and independency the following system of a vector. If dependent, find the relation between them. So, first consider x 1 is equal to 3 1 minus 4 x 2 is equal to 2 2 minus 3, x 3 is equal to 0 minus 4 and 1. So, how to solve this? So, we go step by step method. In the first type, we first of all we write is a linear combination k 1 x 1 plus k 2 x 2 plus k 3 x 3 is equal to 0 vector, where k i's are or k 1, k 2, k 3 are the constant. Now, we substitute the values of x1, x2, x3 in the form of column matrices. So, by substituting the values of x1, we get k1 into 3, 1 minus 4 plus k2 into value of x2 is 2, 2 minus 3 plus k3 into value of x3. So, k3 into 0 minus 4, 1 is equal to 0, 0, 0 vector. Now, we write this in the form of matrices to simplify or to find the value of k 1, k 2, k 3. So, first of all, we write the first column as a first vector, second column as a second vector, third column as a third vector into k 1, k 2, k 3 is equal to 0, 0, 0. In step number 2, we consider an augmented matrix. Here, we apply the row equivalent form to find the value of k1, k2, k3. So, by considering the augmented matrix, only we have to remove the k1, k2, k3 and we write the coefficient matrix and the constant matrix into the single just by separating with the one straight line. Now, our first job to find a leading entry. Either we go with the 3 or we can interchange the second row entry with the first. It is not mandatory, you have to make it that as a 1. So, we interchange R12. So, interchanging R12, first of all, we write the second row that is 1, 2, minus 4, 0, and the first row into the second position 3, 2, 0, 0, and there is no change for the third row. So, it is minus 4, minus 3, 1, and 0. Now, we have to make the below entry 0. So, remember the one of the shortest way to write an row operation for second row we write R 2 minus the entry is 3. So, 3 into R 1 because we have to use the R 1. So, R 3 minus the minus 4 entry. So, it will become plus 4 into R 1. So, first of all we write the R 1 because we are not operating any row operation on R 1. So, we write first R 1 now we apply r2 minus 3 r1 we get 0 minus 4 12 and 0 for r3 plus 4 r1 we get 0 5 minus 15 0 
now once we get the leading one for the first row now we have to find the leading entry for the second row or second column so here our leading entry is minus 4 now to make that as a 1 we divide r2 by minus 4 we get new r2 and r3 by 5 we get new r3 so by dividing this row operations we get 1 2 minus 4 and 0 now there is no change for the r1 for r2 0 1 minus 3 0 and for r3 it is 0 1 minus 3 0 now this is what our leading entry for the second column so we apply the row operation r3 minus r2 so by applying the row operation r3 minus r2 we get there is no change in the first row so 1 2 minus 4 and 0 r2 is also we are not applying any row operation it is remain same for r3 we get 0 0 0 so here you have to remember one thing so for first column we have the leading entry for the second column we have the leading entry but for the third we do not have a leading entry so we consider the third column represent the x3 that is k3 is equal to t we consider because we do not have the leading end for the third so from third row second row of row we get 0 into k1 plus 1 into k2 plus minus 3 into k3 is equal to 0 so by substituting the value of k3 is equal to t we get k2 is equal to 3t so from r1 we get from r1 we get 1 into k1 plus 2 into k2 minus 4 into k3 is equal to 0 by substituting the value of k3 and k2 we get k1 is equal to minus 2 k2 plus 4 k3 so minus 2 into 3 t plus 4 into t so we get uh, simplifying minus 60 plus 4 t that is minus 2 t the value of k1 where the t can take any value so obviously that is not 0 so we get k1 is minus 2 t k2 is equal to 3 t and k3 is equal to t so by substituting any value of t we get a non zero value it means all the ki's are non zero what we required at least one k value is non zero so vectors are linearly dependent now whenever the vectors are linearly dependent we need to find the relation between them now how to find a relation between them in the initial state itself we write a linear combination of these vectors x1 x2 x3 the simplest we have to substitute the value of k1 k2 and k3 so we substitute the value of k1 it is minus 2 t k x1 plus 3 t x2 plus t x3 is equal to 0 now if we write this in the form of minus 2 x1 we take t common 3 x2 plus x3 t we take common is equal to 0 and if you put t is equal to 1 here we get one of the linear combination that is minus 2x1 plus 3x2 plus x3 is equal to 0. So, this is what a relation between the vectors. Hope you understand. We let's go for the next example which is on the base of the same topic that is examine for the linearly dependency and independency of the following system of vectors. If dependent find the relation between them x1 is equal to 2 2 2 x2 is equal to 1 2 3 and x3 is equal to 2 3 8 now you already understood what will be the first step so first of all we write in the linear combination so k1 x1 plus k2 x2 plus k3 x3 is equal to 0 where k1 k2 k3 are the constant in the second step we have to substitute the value of x1 x2 and x3 so we substitute the value of x1 that is x1 is 2 2 2 sorry x1 is 2 2 2 x2 is 1 2 3 and x3 is 2 3 8 and 0 is nothing but our 0 vector so by substituting the value we get this as a linear combination now once we get the linear combination we write that in the form of the matrices so once we write in the matrices form the first column represent the first vector second column represent the second vector and third column represent the third vector so once we get this we have to write this in the form of augmented matrix to for now by using this leading entry we have to make the below row entries as zero that is second row entry and third row entry we have to make it zero 
So for that we have to apply the row operations that is R2 minus R1 and R3 minus R1. So the resultant R2 minus R1 is 0, 1, 1 and R3 minus R1 is 0, 2, 6. So 2 minus 2 we get 0, again 2 minus 2 we get 0, 2 minus 1 we get 1 and 3 minus 1 we get 2. Similarly, 3 minus 2 we get 1 and 2, 8 minus 2 we get 6. Now, this is what our now leading entry for the second row or second column. To make the below entry as 0, we have to apply the row operation R3 minus 2 times the R2. By applying this row operation, we get new R3 as 0, 0 and 4. So, now this is nothing but our reduce row echelon form. So, by now consider k1 k2 k3 for the first column we multiply by k1 for second column we multiply by k2 by third to third column we have to multiply by k3 so from r3 we get 0 k1 plus 0 k2 plus 4 k3 is equal to 0 that implies k3 is equal to 0 from r2 k2 plus k3 is equal to 0 that implies k2 is equal to 0 now from r1 we so k3 0 k2 0 so from r1 we get 2 k1 plus k2 plus 2 k3 is equal to 0 substituting the values we get k1 equal to 0 so if you observe k1 0 k2 0 and k3 0 means all k i's are 0 so obviously by definition it is linearly independent <laughs>